look under the hood of what's going on in Bootstrap. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, Bootstrap has loads of pre-built classes for us that just work right out of the box. So now that we've downloaded Bootstrap, we've uh, injected it into our project, let's go ahead and expand the Bootstrap folder, expand the CSS folder, and we're gonna grab this top file here, the Bootstrap Grid CSS. Double click that. All right, and in here, you're gonna see loads of pre-built classes and all these media queries uh, working for us. It's already built a container class here, for an example, and added styling properties to it. And check this out. It's already got all these media queries already built for us with different screen sizes here. You see that? And it has all the padding and everything added to it. So we got our containers taken care of for us, uh, fluid containers uh, with these media queries, the breakpoints. And then you can see that it's got the rows for us and it's using different type of web kits. Uh, so it works on different browsers to make sure it's a uh, compatible uh, across all browsers. And if we come down here, uh, check this out. Check out all these columns here. This is awesome. All right, you can see that it takes us through column one through 12, and it's already added the styling properties to it. And you can also see, not only is it working with just regular columns, um, Bootstrap uses something uh, with different size columns for different size screens. So you can see that it's using small for the small screens. We've got medium in here, the large and extra large displays. And it's got all the media queries built for us. So you can take some time uh, going through this whole thing if you'd like, uh, seeing the different type of media queries, but just be uh, really uh, grateful and appreciative that Bootstrap has done this already for us. So this is really cool. This is working with the grids and the rows, uh, this top one. And then if we go ahead and double click on just the regular CSS file here, the Bootstrap CSS, you can see that it's taken some of our top level uh, elements here, like the body, and added the styling to it. It's taken care of all the font sizes for us. And then if we come down here, uh, you'll see that it's taking care of the buttons uh, for us, the selectors, text areas. So really cool stuff. It's cool. Bootstrap has some of their own uh, classes that they've created for us uh, that we can just use and throw into our HTML. So that's an under the hood look of Bootstrap and some of the things going on. And that's, that's a wrap. Let's move on. Thank <laughs> you.